Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good day, listeners, viewers. Welcome to our devotion. Our topic for today is who is watching? Who is watching? When I look at the life of two people, Joseph and Achan, let's turn our Bibles to the book of Genesis chapter 39 verse 6 says, And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not aught he had, save the bread which he did eat, and Joseph was a godly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master worketh not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. Joseph was taken as a slave in his youth. He was taken to Egypt and uh, bought by Potiphar. And Potiphar found uh, use for this young man who became a servant in his house. And uh, while he was working for Potiphar, Potiphar was blessed because of Joseph. And he earned the trust of uh, does Joseph end the trust of Potiphar day by day? And Potiphar, looking at uh, his house, well, he didn't have to worry about anything in the house except the, the food that he ate. Um, he didn't know what he had, what he didn't have, uh, because Joseph was such a good steward. He took care of everything in the house. But there was just a small problem, let's call it. Um, Joseph was desired by Mrs. Potiphar. And Moses Potiphar daily made uh, advances to Joseph and daily he would say, lie with me. Uh, I don't know how she, 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 she did this, whether it was just a, a gentle whisper. Uh, um, but it was day by day, probably she tried the first trick. Uh, I don't know, this uh, allowing how I see the story having developed that uh, maybe she spoke with him the first time and uh, he didn't hear him out. Uh, maybe the second time he just uh, made sure that she wears something that uh, would be uh, appealing to Joseph, but uh, still that did not attract um, the young man. Maybe she tried to speak very suggestively uh, to him, but still that didn't work um, uh, to Joseph. So. Can you imagine a young man in a, a foreign land who uh, is missing his family and has some attention uh, coming, some form of love that he may perceive that is coming to him? But he refused, and his answer was simple. Well, I cannot, uh, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. And, uh, and she said, no. Miss Potiphar looked for an opportunity in Genesis chapter 39 verse 11 says that and it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business and there was none of the men of the house there within I don't know it looks like this thing is being orchestrated by by Miss Potiphar she made sure that there is no one in the house when Joseph is coming and there's no one so Joseph comes in to to do work there's no one except Mrs. Potiphar the verse 12 says that she caught him by the garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. So here's a scenario. There's no one in this, uh, in this house. Um, no one is watching. We ask the question, who is watching? So here, no one is watching. Uh, uh, there's no one to tell the story as to what has happened. There's there's no camera. And Miss Potiphar is asking Joseph, just lie with me. Uh, Joseph decides um, to run away. You know, there are 
quite a number of things that can make you uh, to sober up and uh, and give someone your attention. But there's something, three letter words that can sober you up very, very quickly. And those are, I saw you. Has someone ever said to you, I saw you? <laughs> you sort of like uh, sit upright and, uh, or stand upright and you want to know, where did you see me? Yeah. What was I doing when you saw me? So, 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 so Joseph did not have any of those issues as to, am I doing right because I'm seen? Or am I doing wrong because there is no one watching? So that's why we're asking the question, who is watching? So we fooled at times by privacy uh, because we think that uh, no one is looking. So because no one is looking, then I, I think I can do whatever uh, I want to do. Uh, because there's no one around here who knows me, then I can do whatever I want. Because I'm in the dark, uh, I can do whatever I want. Or, or I'm not amongst the people that know me, I can say what I want because I'm not amongst the people that uh, know me. Uh, I can act in the manner that I want to act because in our minds we have asked ourselves a question, who is watching? And we have said, no one that knows us. But it was not the case um, uh, with Joseph. You see, the way we live our lives at times is, is like a, a very foolish a criminal who goes into a house that he, he cannot see that there are hidden cameras and he begins to look around the house and uh, and take things and steal and all along is is in camera you see there there is just no place that we can go to where we can hide from god's presence so even though we are not amongst the presence of people that know us even though we think that no one is watching in the form of a human being but god is always there god is looking so 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 joseph knew that although there are no people there there's no one in the house except Mrs. Potiphar, she cannot commit this great act and sin against God. It is not the issue of who is watching as a human being. He knew that the act that he could not do, um, he could not act in a bad manner uh, because God um, uh, was watching him. But it's, it was a different story with Achan. Uh, Achan uh, uh, um, lived in the time of uh, Joshua and his story is in Joshua chapter 7. Um, the children of Israel had come from a great victory. From a great victory. The walls of Jericho had fallen down and they had conquered that great city. And so they were going to for a conquest in a small place, uh, Ai, um, and he did not really need a, a lot of people and, uh, and Joshua and other people said, why do you want to trouble the whole army of Israel? Just send a few men to go there. And about 36 men, 36 Israelite soldiers were killed. And Joshua began to introspect and ask a question as to how can this have happened? So God says that there is someone in the camp who has taken the accursed. And so they went uh, by household by household uh, uh, they went by family by family, tent by tent, until they came to the man called Achan. And when they came to Achan, as the search was going on, he did not jump up and confess and say, well, uh, I've taken things. It's only when it came to his tent uh, that he thought, well, hmm, I better say something uh, uh, because now I'm about to be found out. Well, he says, I saw this uh, godly Babylonish garments and, and I took them. He took them and hid them in his tent because for him he thought that no one was watching. And I'm afraid, uh, friends, that um, we find ourselves being just like Achan where we, we, we do things, we take them uh, because in our own estimation there is just no one around who can tell the story of our ex. We tend to act differently from Joseph that we, we look at a deed to say that this is wrong and this is something that God does not want us to do. So, so for as long as there are no people around us, it is giving us license to do whatever we want to do. So, so, for, for, so for Achan, he saw that there was no one watching him. And well, 
he took the godly uh, 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 for him um, Babylonish garments. So if I were to pose the question and say, how would our action change if you knew that someone who knows you was watching you all the time? How different would we act if everything that we did uh, it was being watched uh, by someone? I want to advance the thought that uh, we would act a little bit more differently. Um, uh, there are many things that we uh, are doing if we knew that they were on camera, um, we would be uh, a little bit more circumspect. Um, but because we have the false sense of security, uh, because no one is really looking in our own estimation, um, we tend to do things that, that God does not want us to do. Now, if you look at our um, conduct, um, how we conduct our uh, relationships, whether it was with our friends, our families, when there are no people around, uh, how do we conduct ourselves? How do we conduct ourselves at work when no one is watching? Are we as productive as we should be? Or we slack off a bit because, well, uh, my boss is not around, my, my co-workers are not around, you know what, uh, I think I've worked hard, I deserve a break, I can, I can do whatever I, I want to do. How do we conduct ourselves in school uh, when, uh, when teachers are not around? Uh, uh, are we as diligent as, as we need to be um, when those that are in authority are not watching us? How do we treat strangers? Yeah, when we are just by ourselves and there are but other people around that know us are we courteous uh, unto people are we loving are we are we are we generous or our lives are centered around people who are watching us friends i want to say that we are in a spectacle um everything that we do there is no moment that we are living yeah, where god is not there we can try to, to hide ourselves, but uh, there is no place, no cave, no mountain that can hide us uh, from the presence of God. Uh, David found us out. Uh, we can do an act and uh, think that uh, no one is going to know, uh, but someone uh, is going to know. Um, uh, many people have thought that they are doing things in, 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 in hiding. Abel, poor Abel, um, was martyred by, uh, was killed by his brother, um, Cain. And when Cain did uh, his, his act, well, he thought that um, no one was watching, uh, but God uh, was watching. So we have to be careful as to how we live our lives, whether we choose the path of Joseph, who daily was uh, needed to reject the advances of Mrs. Potiphar. Now, I don't know how many young men around there um, would be able to act or take the decision that Joseph took. When there is all opportunities to do wrong, but there is no one around there who can tell that you have done wrong. That is not the issue. The issue is not who is watching you around. The issue is, is what I'm doing in accordance with God's will. That's how we need to live our lives. That's how we need to be at work even when there are no people around. That's how we need to be at school um, when there are no seniors uh, around. That's how we need to be in um, the relationships that we have, uh, whether be it with our uh, husbands or be it with our wives. It's not that no one is watching you now and that you act differently. Is that I cannot commit this great sin and sin against God. We don't live our lives because someone is watching that we know. We live our lives because whatever we need to do, it has to uphold the great standard of God. 
who is watching you friends let me say god is watching you the angels are watching you the whole universe is watching you although people may not be watching you amen